So welcome guys to the Knox channel. This is our commuting review of the Indian FTR 1200 flat tracker, standard model. And the first thing to say about this bike is, oh my God, she's got some beans. Woohoo! So guys, this is my general commute to work every day, which most of the time I'm doing on a motorbike. But you know, like any sort of normal biker, I'm gonna attach in a couple of roads that are a little bit twistier. So it's a commute, but you know, capturing some of the better roads as well that we've got here. And it, the one that uh, I'm about to take you on is probably one of my favorite stretches in all of Cumbria it's only a little two mile section but it's just got some banging corners on it so anyway uh, enough of that maybe we'll start doing like little commuting reviews like this the separate to the bigger reviews the the sort of higher production value reviews that we do um, because actually I think they're worthwhile you know what what is a motorbike like to actually commute to and from work uh, it, it on you know what what does it feel like what does it ride like how comfortable is it all that kind of stuff so hopefully I'll cover some of that stuff while I'm on this commute and give you a bit of a different insight you know rather than we just sort of stood behind the bike and nice uh, images going on or nice video going on but we've had this bike for what um, oh my god that power is just stonking absolutely stonking yeah so we've had the <laughs> we've had the bike for about <clears throat> three months now that we had for our 2020 photo shoot and you know obviously we've had lockdown in between so I haven't ridden it like maybe as much as I wanted but we put a good, good put a good 500 miles on it and it's just it's just awesome got, you know I think we've got a pretty good experience of it now after all this time and you know the first thing about it is it's a hooligan bike it comes from a flat tracker um it comes from a flat tracker and, and therefore it's it, 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 i i'm struggling to think of a bike i can directly relate it to uh certainly that i've ridden um it's entirely different um you know the motor is absolutely bonkers on it the mid-range punch on this thing the roll on real world performance is absolutely insane i mean there's times where you 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 know you go to overtake a car and you maybe think god there's so much pull am i in fourth and then you look down and you think crikey you no know, i'm in sixth it's it's oh it's just got guts um which makes it incredibly entertaining to ride I, you know disagree with me on this or not I, I don't know but I'm pretty much gonna hang me hat on the idea that this bike isn't for new riders or you know guys that have just been riding a couple of years I think it's a bit more of a it's a bit more hooligan than that really I think I would pitch this bike more towards someone who's getting a bit bored with motorcycling someone who wants a bit of their juices flowing again and that is what I love about this bike i mean there is so many uh what i would class as boring motorcycles uh av available in the marketplace right now um you know electronics up to the teeth just haven't got that much bite well this thing is an animal this thing like sticks two fingers up at all of that stuff um, the standard model hasn't got any electronics you got abs but ain't got any electronics no rider motors no traction control no nothing combined with like not that much grip on the rear and um, you know a super lumpy engine you've just got a, a beast you know that'll spin up the rear tire it will um, especially in the wet it's unbelievable and it's just got so much grunt 
I just don't think it's a bike for new beginners, uh, new 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 riders at all. Um, so sorry to say that if you're watching in and thinking that might this might be your next bike if you're in that position. What else is it like? In the dry, it's a bike that you can really hoon. You know, I think that this maybe it's had a bit of uh, stick or a bit of stigma, maybe about its handling. You know, as in it doesn't handle. It's a typical American. People have sort of hit it with the uh, with the Harley stick, I think, and said, "Oh, well, it's American, therefore it doesn't handle." This thing handles, and in the dry, I mean, you can really uh, hoon this bike around, no problems. It'll stick with um, a lot of other bikes. Very stable. You know, okay, are there other bikes out there that have got more uh, grip? that have got more um you know lighter and flickable yes of course there are and it's not as light and flickable as an r9t or something like that but you know it handles no doubt it's really stable in the corners i i think it's it's way better than what i was expecting and the tires in the dry are fantastic why have i got full beams on there we go um the tyres in the dry are, are, are really good, no issues with them. And then what you do is you bring this bike onto the wet and I tell you what, a new world of wet weather riding is opened up to you. Um, and I'll try and put some clips in now of me riding last night in the rain. This thing is <laughs> it's an animal. I hate riding in the rain. It's just miserable generally. But on this thing, it's unbelievable. You, you're coming out of every corner, every uh, roundabout, every you know acceleration. You wind that throttle on and you spin up the rear like there is nothing else. And it's just, it's just so different. I've never experienced anything like it in my life. Um, and you know, it, is it a bit scary? Well, it's a bit on the edge. It's a bit on the edge, and that's why I don't think it's a bike for new riders. I mean, I think it would scare them absolutely to death. Um, having said that, you know, it's not something I've ever done on a motorbike before, um, and you tend to think, well, you know, is that quite advanced riding or whatever? Honestly, mate, it's dead easy. You're in the wet, and you crank this thing on. And I tell you, it just goes. It just, it just, it just spins up. And because of that, I think it's something to do with the ergonomics, the the, the long swing arm um, element of it, uh, the arguable lack of rear grip. It just spins up, up match with the punchy engine. It just spins up. It's unbelievable. I think I had it yesterday, 60 miles an hour in sixth gear, and I give it a whack, and it spun up absolutely it's just insane when have you ever heard a motorcycle do that it's a it's a muscle bike one of the things it's not very good on is fuel i mean this this bike is not great on fuel i'll just say um but then again you know do you expect a muscle bike would you expect a a corvette to be good on fuel well i wouldn't and i think that's just sort of a part of having a bike like this is that um you know it doesn't doesn't have massively good fuel uh, e e e economy basically but you know does that really bother you when you're just out for a hoonage and you're buying this bike for you know effectively what it is it doesn't bother me um, ergonomically it's really really comfortable I mean we rode the other day all day and it's a very comfortable bike the seat is lovely the seat is absolutely lovely um, very soft very uh, wide you just feel comfortable on it obviously it's a you know it's a naked flat track position so you know all, it's just a comfortable bike you know and an all-day riding on this is not going to be a problem obviously when you get up to speed like 60 70 80 mile an hour there's quite a maybe not 60 but uh, speeds above that you're getting a bit of wind blast and stuff and um, that 
is just what it is and you're not ever going to get around that with a bike like this let's see if i can get it in the air oh. i don't think this this bike is not the easiest bike to wheelie it just isn't um i think it's something to do yeah of course you can get it in the air no issues you can get it in the air um not a problem with that because it's got loads of grunt but maybe it's something to do with the power delivery maybe it's something to do with the long swing arm i'm not entirely sure what it's to oh my god well that i thought i was in third i was in fifth <laughs> That's the amount of grunt this thing's got. Spits you out of a roundabout in fifth gear, like in an incredible way. I mean, that's just bonkers. The, yeah, so the wheeling thing, it's not great for wheelies. I don't know whether it's the, it, the power's slightly snatchy. Um, it doesn't give you a lot of comfort. The, and then obviously there's so much power as well. I think it's the long swing arm. You know, it's just sort of like wanting to slam down all the time. So as soon as you let that throttle off, it don't want to, you know, almost a, it don't want to balance there. I think to get this bike wheeling properly, you'd have to be uh, quite experienced at them and get it really high. Um, and even then, I think it'd be quite snatchy, just the way that the engine delivers the, the, the power. Anyway, this, in my opinion, is not a great uh, wheelie bike. It's more about um, burnouts and, and, and uh, slide in the rear and stuff like that. What else about this bike? Yes, uh, ergonomically fantastic. It's actually got cruise control, this bike. Unbelievable. I'd never expect that for a bike, and I haven't used it yet, but here we go. So the button here, and basically you just push it in to get your cruise on, the little uh, dash there, and then you go down, that press is set, and away you go. Look at that. This <laughs> is it's so not like the character of this bike to have cruise control, but and I've never really used one on a bike, but I tell you, it's actually quite cool. You can just sit here, no, um, and not worry about your speed. It's got a really nice dash. I'm not a massive fan of the TFT one. So I'm not sure it like fits the bike overly. Um, but um, yeah, this clock one fits this bike really, really well in my opinion. So yeah, you click that. And that's gonna that's gonna change the modes on it uh, so you can see your current fuel economy you can see the odometer you can see your trip uh, and you can see your rpms as well oh, and you've got a gear indicator as well which works yes yeah, so the handling on this bike i mean you know surprisingly good And you know, talk about an overtaking bike. This is this is uh, phenomenal for this. The other thing that, that that I love about this bike is the way it looks. I think it's got a beautiful look about it. I, I, I'm just a massive fan of the way this bike looks. It's a really uh, mean-looking thing. Uh, especially in this all black art uh, this would probably be the color that i would go for personally and i just think it looks really slick i think it looks really uh different it looks like a muscle bike it behaves like you know it it it, it does what it says on the tin sort of thing from a looks point of view and, and i love that the quality of everything is really high uh, even the quality of the mirrors is good the switch gears is 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 simple but it's nice I love the fact that they've got pro taper bars on it sort of almost a it kind of isn't a bit of a nod to that flat trackery style i mean look oh. um, the headlight is really nice all the, all the bits are really nice um the exhaust is standard as well um i actually really like the exhaust and i probably wouldn't change it if it was my bike although i am really reliably told uh, that putting a full system on this thing is 
um, you know, opens up basically a load more performance uh, because, you know, the inference is that this standard exhaust is quite restrictive. Um, so you can do that. Uh, basically change the whole exhaust and you'll get a load more performance. I'm sure you'll get a whole, lot, whole load of sound with it as well, um, which will be interesting. Um, I'm sure your neighbours will love it. But the other thing is Jekyll and Hyde, who, who, who we know, um, I think over in uh, the Netherlands, they've actually just come out with a, a brand new exhaust system for this bike so you can actually tailor the amount of noise that the pipe kicks out so you can have it really quiet for when you're in the street so you don't cheese your neighbours off too much um, and then when you want to get out onto the open road or or whatever you can <laughs> you can put that uh, Jekyll or Hyde switch and it turns it into you know well something really loud basically which I think is really cool so yeah that that could be an option that you'd look at as well couple of quirks on this bike um, it doesn't um, start particularly well in the cold so you know when I turned it on this morning it, it, it sort of like coughs and splutters a little bit until it's up until about 60 degrees um, so you have to warm this bike up um, and you know when you're running it cold and you blip the throttle it'll just turn off in the cold so that's a bit of a quirk it's just a lumpy motor uh, the other thing is the battery keeps running out as well so we've had to charge the battery up about three or four times which is weird but you know the battery is really accessible uh, so you know yeah it's a pain but it's made as harmless as possible because it's so it's so accessible um, the other thing is yeah the pillion seat's not great you can do a bit with the pillion but not 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 too much oh and when it's wet yeah expect to get a wet bum uh, because the rear wheel's sticking out you do get water up your back basically and I got a really wet bum last night but other than that mate we are cooking on gas so as you might be able to tell I've absolutely loved loved our time with the Indian FTR 1200 what a bike it is really really fantastic um, and it'll be a sad thing to see it go back on Monday um, would I buy one? Yeah, 100%. I would buy uh, a bike like this, definitely. Um, I'm not sure whether I will, you know, um, buy it, but yes, I definitely would buy it. I think this is, this is like bringing motorcycling back alive to me, this bike. Um, and I love it for that, for that reason. It, it has some character traits that I've never seen on a motorcycle before. And I think that's dead fresh. I think that's dead cool and I absolutely love it. So we're just pulling up to Knox HQ right now. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let us uh, know what you think about this sort of commuting video. It'd be interesting to hear what you think. Please like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. All the gear that I've used in the review is in the link in description and we will see you on the next video.